And now, from the Career Tech Studios in Stillwater, here's your host, Rob McClendon. There's a whole other world underground, miles and miles of sewers and pipes, and all of it aging. Nationwide, it's estimated as much as 7 billion gallons of drinking water spill out of leaky pipes every day, while nearly as much wastewater escapes from our aging sewers. It's an expensive and complicated problem, and one nearly every Oklahoma town is now facing. Joining me now from Stillwater is our Andy Barth. Well, Rob, I'm here in Stillwater, where the water seems to be springing up all over town. City officials say that they could be working on as many as 25 different locations trying to keep an aging infrastructure all together. Waking up to the loud noise of a jackhammer may only be the first of your troubles. Try turning on the faucet. The city of Stillwater has crews working to repair break, after break, after break. Our guys are working around the clock, working late, cold, and the water lines and the numerous leaks we've had. And those leaks aren't coming from a water hose. They're spewing from a vast underground maze. According to City Water Director Anthony Daniel, the Stillwater infrastructure spans more than 340 miles. And that doesn't count more than 200 miles of sewer lines. An array of aging cast iron pipes just waiting to spring a leak. And with all of this leaky pipe, Anthony says he loses a little sleep. So that kind of uh, keeps me awake at night. And also the failing infrastructure in the city itself. We have had several or other numerous water line breaks from Thanksgiving onwards. And even though crews are quick to fix the leaks, Daniel knows it's only temporary. As funds become available, the city is planning to replace 1% of this system every year. Every day, city workers explore a part of our world few of us see. It's got a thousand feet of cable on it, the, the actual real cables in the uh, trailer, and it can usually, the longest distance we usually go is anywhere from five to six hundred feet. Using a robotic camera, city workers are able to locate problems easier thanks to this mobile unit, making a dirty job a little less hands-on. Clay tile is pretty rigid, pretty strong pipe, uh -huh. but it's very brittle. And if ground shifts, it'll crack, or if somebody knocks a hole in it, it cracks. And they put the service in there, a four inch, and then they put concrete around it. And then after a while, years and years of ground shifting, pieces of the clay tile start falling out, and the service connection it. falls in. And sometimes they'll fall all the way to the bottom and plug the whole line off. And when it plugs the line off, then sewer backs up upstream from that and other into other homes. Stillwater may be busy capping leaks and flushing sewer lines, but according to Stillwater's city manager, Dan Galloway, they're not the only ones experiencing soggy ground. I think the uh, infrastructure, and primarily water and sewer, uh, is a huge problem for our entire country. Uh, we've got a lot, whether, whether you're in New York or California, anywhere in between, I think that uh, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of miles of Water lines and sewer lines have been out of sight and out of mind for way too many years. Uh, some going back well over 100 years. In our case, many of our lines are well over uh, 60 years old. And despite the aging pipes, Stillwater has a plan. I think we have taken some huge steps in Stillwater. Uh, several years ago, we, we, we understood the magnitude of the problem. We realized that financing was going to be a problem. And we, uh, we developed a long-term plan uh, based on a, a basic t tenant in, in all water and infrastructure. Uh, if you can get 50 years of serv serv serviceable life from a water line or a water pump or a water treatment plant, that's considered uh, an optimum life. And uh, beyond that, it should be replaced. Now, Rob, this is where it gets expensive. Replacing a sewer line can cost anywhere from fifteen dollars to $25,000 per 100 feet, and those water lines can start at $1,500 per foot. So once this work is completed, is this going to be an expense that will be reoccurring? Hopefully not. These cast iron pipes aren't made to withstand that constant back and forth and side to side movement that our soil here in Oklahoma makes. But these PVC pipes that are replacing them can, which makes a longer shelf life for this infrastructure. All right. Thank you so much, Andy.